All right, what's up, everybody? We're back here with uh, what I believe will be the third installment on the photo bioreactor uh, series here. So I've done a little bit of work since we last uh, did an update here, and mainly what I've done is I took all the, and I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I took all the, the tubes off, cleaned them out, uh, got all the dust and all the plastic that was in there from uh, when we cut them, got that out of there, just sprayed them off with the hose, and then ended up gluing all these together here so you see some of that purple stuff, that PVC glue, uh, which, so all of these U-bends here are secured both to themselves and then also to the pipe. So we got one, two, three, four, five of those. I'm not fully sure how I wanna do the inlet yet or the exit. So these guys are not glued up just yet, but we will get there soon. The other thing that I got for it is this uh, valve, which uh, can open and close here uh, because with the volume that we're gonna be running through this thing, I don't know if it's gonna be better to just allow the water and the algae to sit in the tube for longer periods of time so that it can grow, uh, or if it'll be better to continuously cycle it through uh, the, the loop system, the closed loop system that, uh, that we have here. Uh, so I'm gonna try both. And right now what we're gonna do is just a test run and fill this water up if I do decide to leave it so where it's not cycling through all the time, then uh, I did pick up a little air compressor, this little tiny Husky air compressor that I can attach this tube up to and I can send it down in there and kind of percolate the water a little bit and give the algae biomass some stimulus. And so yeah, we're gonna see today, A, what it looks like with this thing holding water and try and get a rough idea of how much water it can hold just in the raceway, in the tube raceway. And uh, we're gonna see, you know, how well it flows through there and everything like that. So uh, I've got a big seven gallon jug of water right here. And uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to get that stuff down in there and probably just leave these on and hopefully they won't come off with the water going down in there. Um, I'll, I'll put them on as tight as I can. And then we're gonna dump the water down in here and let it race all the way to the bottom. The valve is currently closed, so it's just gonna stop it all right there and let it build up. And uh, then I'll open it up and let it drain out and see how that happens. And uh, we'll be showing you all that stuff. The other thing I'm having trouble deciding is I don't know if I want this U-bend to come off in front and then have it drain down like that or just out into something right in front here or if I want it back the other way and hooked up with that little elbow and have it going back like that. But I guess just for the sake of uh, trying it out since the water's not going to come down since the water's not gonna come down past this area, we'll just try it like this for now, and that way I can get a good visual on uh, how I want it to look. The one nice thing about having it like this, and I guess it would be the same going either way, is that I can print another one of these brackets and, and put it right here and connect it there to give it a little bit more support. So let's, uh, let's grab some water and try it out here. Okay, that bad boy is submerged. Let's try this again here. There we go. It's filling up. I don't know if you can see it going through there. It's kind of bright. Oh man, it's working. Coming all the way down to the end. 
Okay, so we're filled up down here at the end, filling up this lower one. It's definitely leaking a little bit out of there, but it hasn't been sealed up yet, so that's not a surprise. But this valve is working beautifully. Cool, so now we're filling up this one almost all the way full. Oh, I'm getting leaking from there. That's not good, I'm getting leaking from places that I've got glue. Good thing we're doing a test run here. But that seems to be the only place it's leaking so far. Okay, get ready to shut her off here because now we're filling up this top one. We go a little bit more in there. All right, so that thing's full. So is that the only place I'm? Oh taking water out of it from me here. Pull this thing out. Perfect. So that was about probably close to three gallons of water. We'll be a little bit more accurate on it here in a little bit. But yeah, let's check, make sure that so I'm leaking from here. I don't think I'm leaking from here. I think that's just drippage from this top one that's not sealed. This is definitely leaking a little bit here, this one. So we'll have to address that for sure. Cool. I'm actually gonna hook up my little air hose and drop that down in there and see how good of a job that does of percolating the water. here. It definitely works. It's definitely got air. Okay, we're gonna get wet here. Do my best not to. Okay. Oh shit. Pull this baby back into the shop and get back to work. Okay, <clears throat> so added just a bead of super glue around the lip of this, and hopefully that does it. I may need to put a little bit more of the purple stuff on there. Um, I don't know if that would work, putting it on around the outside, but and like kind of tucking it back up in there. Uh, but basically, we're just gonna wait for that to dry, and uh, and we might wait until tomorrow to do anything else with this thing. Um, but that was good progress today. I really got to figure out what I'm going to do here on the, uh, the end. And, um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do at the beginning of the raceway as well. But we saw it fill up with water and, uh, that worked. So yeah, I think it's just time to figure out how 
I want to get the pump in there. I think I'm just going to have to cut a hole in the top of this thing to get the pump, the water pump down in there. And then maybe put a valve or something on the side here for the return portion of it. Um, you know, something that looks like these guys here or something like that. So we'll figure that aspect of it out over the next day or so and we'll uh, report back. And, um, and also the last bit that really needs to be made is the filter section, which is gonna catch the biomass. So yeah, we'll keep chugging along here and keep you guys updated. Thanks again guys for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe so that that way you're updated on when the new videos come out. Like I said, this was the third installment of the, uh, the bioreactor series, the, the algae photo bioreactor. So we'll uh, keep uploading in that playlist and you can watch the build kind of from start to finish uh, if you haven't caught up with it yet. And yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.